um, attaching a tail piece. So if I look at my here's one I made earlier, you will see that um, it's not finished yet, I haven't sewn it all together, but we're kind of knitting a piece actually onto the back. And how we're gonna do that is pick up some stitches um, in the stitches that are already there on the, on the back. So we put some stitch markers in for the tail a while back while we were working the back. Um, and we are going to need to find those now and we're gonna pick up a knit between those two uh, stitch markers. Now I've got the bunny's head, hello. <laughs> got the bunny's um, <clears throat> head facing downwards and the right side of the work facing me. So let's get going. Right, I'm using yarn A for this and we're gonna just pick up the five stitches um, that run between these two stitch markers. So let me see if I can sort of pick them out. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so I might need to slightly adjust my stitch marker because this one is sort of sitting through where I wanna actually pick up. So I'm just gonna move it aside slightly. And you should be able to see, um, where are we? Where's my line? Here's my line. So here we go. Can if I put my um, needle behind, can you see those two um, strands that are going over the top? That's the V of the first one. There's the V of the second one. And third and fourth and fifth. So that's what we're aiming for when we put our needle through each of the stitches that's where that's how i've um kind of interpreted that to put my needle under two strands so i pick up that entire v so i'm going to leave my needle there that's going to be the first one the first um stitch let me run all the way up yep yeah, that's absolutely on the line so my needle has gone let's try it i'll show you that again my needle is going to pick up Am I on the right row? Let me make sure I'm on the right row. Yes, my needle is going to pick up the first leg and then the second leg of that stitch. And once you've done one, you've got a great line to work to. And I'm wrapping my yarn around, yarn A, and just pulling that stitch through. And that is one stitch picked up. Okay, and I'm going to go across to the next one which is this one here. So I've picked up leg one. It's very tricky to see, I realise, because of the, um, have I picked up? Yeah, because of the colour of the yarn and the needle. But I'm going under two legs of the stitch, wrapping the yarn, and not managing to get it through at all. Let's try that again. No, still not. There we go. I'm pulling it through. So yeah, it's a little tricky but not impossible to and come across to the next one under two legs of the stitch. Let's just make sure I've got all of it. Yep, three, two, three. Next one across. Two, two threads, four, and the last one. Five. All right, so that, wrap that and pull it through. That's not gonna come through, is it? Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay, so I've got five stitches on my needle between those two markers, which I can probably take away now, I think. Can I? Yes, I can take those away. And um, how are we gonna start knitting this? Dead easy, actually, because now we've got stitches on our needle, you can kind of fold all that body away and turn it round, and it's just like any old regular knitting and purling, so there's nothing more to worry about with that, it's um, like I said, if you fold the body away, it's totally easy to make a start. So I'm just gonna purl this and show you what I mean. Oh, 
sorry, completely off camera. Two, three, four, and five. So yeah, you've got all the work hanging off, but it doesn't matter. It's still, you can still miss it. And then off you go. And it's, um, I think if I look at it, if I look at the actual piece over here, so if I move the body or all the work all the way down, you will see it's almost like um, a slightly, or it's very similar to the very first piece we did, probably a little bit slimmer and a little bit more elongated, but you're going to increase, decrease and then increase again, almost to make a little hourglass shape. Can you see? Okay, so just some uh, knitting front and back and then some knitting two together and whatnot, increasing and, and decreasing to end up with a little hourglass shape for the tail. And I'll show you how to sew that together. Well, let's have a look at how we're going to approach um, sewing the tail. Because it's a tiny little thing um, and it is more of the same, so more mattress stitching. I've left quite a long tail on the, well, I've cast off this little tail here. So, you know, I can use that. I can use that for my mattress stitch um, going forward. So. My piece of tail, like I said, looks a little bit like a, like a, uh, what did I call it? An hourglass, yes, or very similar to the first piece we started with, isn't it, on its little muzzle. Um, and, and we're going to create a tail by folding that in half, you can see, sewing around the edges and just popping a little bit of stuffing in. So if I, if I fold that in half, you can see that my cast off yarn is in a position where I can actually use it to start doing the mattress stitch up this side so let's do that and because it's attached I don't need to kind of um, anchor the yarn at all and I can go straight in to mattress stitch so I'm going to try um, and stick with as usual the edge stitch going up the edge and trying to work my mattress stitch between in the bars of the stitches between the edge and the edge stitch and the next row in. So the, you can see that the tail is folded in half. So wrong sides together. And I've brought the end of the yarn through to the other side, except it's got stuck. There we go. Through to the other side and through a couple of bars of between the first two rows of stitches, all right? And that is me off on my mattress stitch, Odyssey. So come back over to the other side, up through a couple of bars and so on. And we're only gonna need to do a couple of, or a few stitches here because it's a very small piece. Um, and very shortly, oh, the needles come unthreaded. You will get to the, the part of the tail that's joined. And of course you don't need to mattress stitch that do you okay so I've closed already just one side of the tail of the mattress stitch and across the top as I said we don't have to do anything because it is already closed so I'm just going to kind of pass my needle and thread through and then turn the whole piece round and we're going to repeat that exercise up the other side the other open side of the tail so tricky so I'm going to hold it sideways on now if that's all right with you come through and then come back to where my yarn came out and pick up a bar and go through and then back to where my yarn came out and pick up a bar all the way up and I'm not pulling it closed yet so don't worry it does look a little open And then up and through, give it a little pull now, just zip it up. Oh, I love mattress stitch. And when I get to that top corner, back over this side and into the top corner. Let's have a look. So you can see we've got a little tail and we've got a little it's almost like a little pocket isn't it so what I'm going to do is just put a tiny 
bit of stuffing in there, look, the smallest little bit of stuffing. Um, you can put as much as you want in yours to make a nice little bob tail. Whatever you want. You can also make your tail pink if you want. Add some pink yarn in, whatever you want. It's your bunny, we've got plenty of it. So, um, there you go, that's lovely little bobtail, look at that. And then to finish, um, I'm gonna kind of over sew where we cast on. So can you see, you can see the, um, I'll just get that out of the way, we can stuff that in there as we go. But um, you can see where the cast on stitches are, you can see where I picked them up. I'm gonna go in through there and come straight through because I'm gonna over sew this part all the way along where I picked up the stitches and over the cast on edge. So I'm picking up where I picked up the stitch originally, just maybe pick up a little bit more than just the stitch itself. Come over to the cast off edge and over sew. The way across to secure that little tail. Okay, so I'm giving it a little squash. And it is nice and secure on there actually. And I'm gonna just, I know I've got this end here, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Just gonna pass the, uh, the needle through a few times to cast off. This one. Just hiding that yarn. It's fine. That's nice and secure. I'll snip that off. Oh, not quite close enough. There we go. And we've got a little bobtail 